Once social distancing measures were put in place, video calls became a prominent part of many people's lives. But now some are struggling with what's being called Zoom fatigue. Essentially what it's referring to is this idea that we are feeling overloaded and very tired. Um, as possibly as a result of um, using all these different online uh, video call technologies such as Zoom. And obviously because Zoom's been such a popular one, which is where I think this term is, has sort of come from, everything very quickly changed to pretty much exclusively online. Um, people are sort of um, maybe panicked and kind of got lots of meetings and things in initially, which possibly wouldn't necessarily happen. And the other thing is people maybe just panicked about the fact they might not be seeing their friends for ages. So again, panicked and um, and then just booked in lots of social events um, online and things. So possibly over time, you know, we might be finding this, we're less uh, saturated perhaps with this and we get used to it. When there's loads of people in the same meeting, that can be extra um, demanding. If there's fewer people, it's it's perhaps less so. So I think it's if there's ways to organise meetings so so the demand what during those meetings is less, then that's that's possibly something to do. Things that other people have noted is is that sometimes when you can see yourself on the camera that there might be um, additional self-presentational demands. So you, you can see yourself, so you're more self-conscious of yourself and you know you, that, that brings on extra kind of demands while you engage in these meetings. As a temporary thing, I can't see there being a particularly um, detrimental long-term impact. I think just generally what will be great is that people are seeing more opportunities for using online technology, maybe in ways they hadn't thought about before. So um, what my hope would be is people continue to to use this, but obviously it will go back hopefully to be more of a supplement to these real world interactions.